Welcome to the Delta Math Solution tutorial. Here we have the properties of an isosceles triangle. Here the problem says in the triangle UVW, line segment VW is equal to line segment UV and the measurement of the angle U is equal to 74. They want you to find angle V. Notice this problem is very difficult because you have no picture. So what you need to do is translate those words into a picture. So start by having a triangle here. And then we can set it up based on what it says. It says this triangle is U V W. Now it says line segment V W. So I'm going to make that red. Where's VW? It's right here. VW is going to be equal to UV. So I made those in red. Then I'm going to put these hash marks to indicate that they're the same. And then they say this angle of angle U is equal to 74 degrees okay notice that this tells you that this side is the same okay so this also has to be 74 degrees all right because it tells you about this side right these two angles here are referred to your base angles right this is referred to your base angles these two have to be the same angle because these two sides are the same now you want to set up the equation they're asking you to find angle v so this is your question mark here this angle we know that the total angles inside a triangle is equal to 180 degrees so we can write 74 plus 74 plus our question mark is going to be equal to 180 we add the 74 plus 74 that gets us 148 plus our question mark is going to be equal to 180 then we subtract the 148 to both sides then you get this cancels out. You get question mark is equal to 180. Subtract 148 gets you 32. That is that missing angle of angle V. So let's put in 32 and double check our work. All right, good job. You see how we draw the picture? Then we got that the angles here are congruent because the sides are congruent. Then we set up the equation then we found our missing value. So good job. All right, let's do one more problem. All right, this is another possible question that you can see. Here, the triangle GHI, where the line segment IG is congruent to line segment HI, and the measurement of the angle of H is equal to 74 degrees. Find the measurement of angle G. So again, let's make sure we can translate these words into a picture that we can use. This is a triangle. And in that triangle, it has the three letters, G, H, and I. And there we have the line of IG. So here is IG right here. We saw that is going to be congruent to h i right the fact that these two are congruent you can by default tell you that these two angles are the same all right why because this tells you about this angle and this tells you about this angle right that that therefore it has to be the same okay then they say angle H is 74. So this is 74. Angle G is also going to be 74. All right. Because notice these two are supposed to be the same. So 
even without solving for the equation, you can see by drawing the picture that angle G has to be 74 degrees. Again, let me repeat why. This angle tells you that this, and this angle tells you about this, okay? The fact that the sides are the same here, therefore the angles have to be the same here, all right? Let's check our work. It should be 74. And we did it correct. All right. Make sure you're able to draw the picture. Translate it. Okay. Let's do one more problem. All right. We have another problem on the properties of the isosceles triangle. Here, they give you this scenario. Make sure you're able to translate this into a picture. Let's just read it. So here we have the triangle. And they give us the letters for that triangle, which is going to be J, K, and L. And they tell us that angle J, so right here, is going to be equal to angle L. Then, okay, we know if these two that are the same, then, then by default, it tells us, notice, right, that's true. Okay, that tells you about those two sides. So let me just draw that as a result so this has to be the same as this okay they tell us now that l j so l j which is on bottom is 17 then they tell you that k l is 10 so if this is 10 this also has to be the 10 right because these two sides are congruent i labeled it right and they ask you for what is JK. So we already know that JK is 10 here by default because these two angles are congruent. Therefore, the two sides here are congruent. So let's just enter that in here and see. All right. So we did it. That's how we draw the picture. Then we saw opposite sides have to be congruent. So they both have to be 10s. Right. Good job. Okay, the last possible type that you might see is this. Same thing. It's an isosceles triangle, so draw the triangle, right? And let's label the information that we see. We saw that it is the triangle of W, X, Y, and we saw that the line of X, Y, so xy which is this one is going to be equal to wx so equal to this one i note that with the red bars and the red lines then they tell you that angle x is equal whoop well, hold on before that notice these two lines are congruent correct therefore these two angles have to be congruent right these are your base angles because remember this is the same thing as this and this tells you the same thing as that Okay, that's why those are congruent. Then they tell you that angle X is equal to 38. So this is 38. You need to know what these two angles are. Notice these two are the same. So you can write X here and X here. You write them as the same variable because their angles are the same. Now we set up the equation. The total area within the triangle is 180. So we do X plus X plus 38 is going to be equal to 180. Combine some like terms, the x plus the x gets you 2x. Bring everything else down, plus 38 is equal to 180. To solve, we have to get first, get rid of the 38, so we subtract 38 to both sides. Bring everything else down, you get 2x is equal to 180. Subtract 38 gets you 142. Then we want to divide two to both sides. This reduces to just one, so you get x is equal to 142, subtract two, that gets you 71 degrees. All right, so let's check our work. 71, submit, and there you go, correct. All right, so these two are the same because the sides are congruent, all right? And that's the algebra, and that is the solution, all right? So there you go. Those are all your possible solutions for properties of an isosceles triangle.